Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Heather and I go by The Canary Closet on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Tradesy, ThreadUp, and Mercari. So I'm gonna go through my What Sold um, Flippin' Friday through this past week from September 11th through the 17th. Um, so we'll go ahead and just get started. Mercari first has still been very slow for me. I'm not sure what's going on. I've never really done super well on Mercari, but um, I'm gonna try to list things a little bit lower over there this week compared to how I list them on Poshmark and eBay and see if that makes a difference um, to maybe just start to boost some more sales. So um, we'll see. Anyway, the first thing I sold was this um, vintage Intimate Essentials nightgown. Um, it was uh, possibly 80s, 90s. Um, it was like a light blue satin kind of feel lace long nightgown and I sold that for $24. Um, the next things were these Dansko um, like fabric tan clogs. They were in a size 10, I believe, and I sold those for $27. Next was this American Eagle soft and sexy hoodie. It was a, just a really thin, lightweight, um, long sleeve. It had a kind of like a moon graphic on the front. Um, I just thought I would pick this up and try it because it was 50 cents, um, just to kind of see how it did. It did take a little while to sell, probably about two months. So I'm not sure if I'd pick it up again. But um, I did still make a profit on it. I sold it for $17. Um, and then the last thing I sold was a couple of days ago, I sold these Rock Revival. Uh, I don't know how to say the brand or the style. It was a U, U-E? Y-U-I. They were a bootcut jean. They were low to mid-rise, just like the normal Rock Revivals are. Um, and I sold those for $57 within a day. So that was pretty good. So we'll move on to eBay next. Um, if you do like these kind of videos, I do what solds, hauls, um, mixed in with some other things, you want to go ahead and hit that like button down below. Um, you can hit the subscribe button and then also that little bell next to it to just let you know um, whenever I make a, a new video to put out for you guys to see. So the last one I tried to make, I'm still trying to figure all of this out. I had uploaded it. I took so much time editing pictures of things that sold for over $100 and someone informed me that none of my pictures were in there. So I think is what happened is when I went to upload it, I chose the original video that I filmed with before all of the editing. And then by the time I went back to try to upload the other one, I didn't have all the pictures anymore and I don't know, it was a huge mess. So I was like, well, I'll try that again. Okay, so the first thing I sold on eBay was this Chaps Ralph Lauren Women's uh, Southwestern Aztec Colorful Sweater. Um, I did have a lot of interest on this on eBay and on Poshmark. Um, it wasn't a size small and this sold for my full asking price of $40.88. Um, next was this Lululemon black long sleeve scoop neck top. Um, this was just picked up at the Plato's Closet clearance sale. They did not have it marked as Lululemon. It was only $5 and I sold that for $27. Next were these Can Can Mid Rise Dark Wash Distressed Skinny Jeans. They had a raw hem detail. They were um, in really good condition in a size 24, so very tiny, but they still sold within a day for $20. Um, so $20, $25 is pretty typical for me for this brand, but they seem to be selling for me quickly lately, especially in the distressed style. So um, I would suggest picking them up if you like a quick flip. Next were these BKE Buckle Men's Alec Dark Wash Straight Leg Jeans. These were in a size 32 long, and these sold for $40. These also did have a little bit of wear on the bottom of the hem, but I noted that in the description, didn't seem to matter, still got the sale. Um, next was this L.L. Bean men's um, flannel checkered plaid long sleeve button up shirt. This was in a size large tall. I just got this recently. Um, I think I showed in a haul. So these larger um, or taller sizes do seem to do well. And that brand seems to be a pretty solid seller for me for men's. Um, the few pieces that I have picked up for around that 20 to $30 range. Um, next was this Bricks uh, Made in Italy Leather Travel Garment Bag. Um, I found this at a local Salvation Army for about $5. I just happened to be looking at it while I was looking at the bags. I'd never heard of it. So I thought I'd look up the brand and it did seem to be pretty expensive retail. So I had that for maybe five to six months, but it did sell for $40. Uh, next was this Bowden uh, Long Sleeve Denim Chambray Dress. It was in a size 14 tall and this sold for $25. Next was this Disney Parks uh, Walt Disney Gray Pink Pullover Sweatshirt. This was in a size small, so Disney. Um, if you don't know, I'm addicted to Disney and I love Disney. We're actually going there next month. So for me, it's very hard for me to pass up 
Disney stuff at the thrift store because I love it so much. So I don't know if you have anything like that. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's a brand or a style or something like that that you just have a really hard time passing up. Um, but usually Disney parks, those things typically will cost more, whereas the things that just say Disney or something like that, um, they can be found in like Walmart, Kohl's, Target, very cheap. So I won't pick those up, but the Disney park stuff I will look at and sometimes I will get um, just because it was only sold in the parks. It typically runs a little bit higher retail. So I did sell that for $18. Oh, I sold this Ralph Lauren cashmere turtleneck sweater again. This was that purple label turtleneck that sold uh, a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And the person returned it because they said they didn't fit, which is something I hate about eBay. It sucks because I put measurements for that purpose, but what can you do? Um, right after I relisted it, someone offered me $80, which was about $40 off my listing price, but I did only pay $359 for this. Um, I was kind of annoyed that it got returned, so the fact that I got an offer on it right away when I listed it, I just thought I will take that um, and just get it out of my house. Um, next were these Eileen Fisher black and white slip-on shoes in a size 9.5, and, and I sold those for $22, so kind of a maybe outdated older style. Um, I don't know. They were cheap when I got them, so sometimes I just let things go for a lower price just to kind of get things moving and sales moving. Um, next was this White House Black Market uh, Petite Lace Fit and Flare Dress in a coral color. Um, this did, I did have this for quite a while. I thought it was really pretty, um, but I don't know. I just sat for a while, maybe because of the petite size, maybe because of the whole pandemic thing, people not um, buying more of these like dressier type of things, but it did sell for $25. Next was this Newest Hags Prana charcoal sweater dress in a size extra small and I sold that for $40. I did pick that up recently at a Sierra Trading Post clearance sale for I think eight to nine. So that was a pretty good flip. Okay, next was another pair of Can Can jeans. They were mid-rise ankle stretch distressed skinny jeans in a size 29 and I sold these for $25. These again sold within one or two days. Um, next was this Lane Bryant white sequin peacock t-shirt. It was short sleeve. Um, really cute in a size 18 that sold for my full asking price of $28.88. Um, next were these Vince leather peep toe shiny block heel booties. Um, these I had had for quite a while. The shiny part of the heel did have some scuffs on it. I wasn't quite sure how to clean them off. So I did try some different things and nothing really worked. So I think that's kind of why they took a little while to sell. Um, they sold for $30. Uh, the last thing on eBay were these Dansko brown leather strappy sandals in a size 8 and I sold those for $35. So we'll go into Poshmark next. Um, I did have some pretty good sales in ThreadUp. I've been trying to post about them on my Instagram recently, but it's kind of been hard for me to track because they wait for that return window before they tell you your profit. I mean, before they release your earnings. Um, and so sometimes it's hard to see when things sell on there. Like I check it every day, but it's kind of hard to know there's like sometimes where it just says unavailable where I think they just pull it for one of their boxes someone said but then there's other times where it says sold I'm still trying to figure it all out but I am liking it um, I would suggest using it if you um, can I send a medium sized box from Walmart I fill it up as much as I can because you can get up to 30 pounds in there I do pay the um, $10 and the $16 fees in order to get processed faster and to get my items back to me um, but I have been doing pretty good on there with some things that I never would have sold um, you know for that much. One example was this Tory Burch animal print cardigan. It was a pink color and it was kind of the older tag that square one with the orange logo. Um, I had that listed for quite a while on all of the sites I sell on and I put it down all the way to 30 or $35 and I could not get rid of it. So I just sent it into them. I think it was in the mid 100s or something like that but my payout was $123. So that was crazy. That was amazing. I never would have been able to get that much on my own. So definitely try it out. Okay, Poshmark where I make most of my sales. So here we go. Um, the first thing I sold was this J. Crew navy stripe panel sheath dress. It was in a size 12 and I sold that for $15. Um, next were these flying monkey jeans. These were from the buckle. They were a high rise skinny crop jeans in a size 27 and I sold these for $18. Next was this vintage Hawaii blue gold braided mesh trucker hat. 
I picked this up at a garage sale this summer. A guy had a bunch of old hats for a quarter each, and I sold that for ten dollars. Um, next were these Dear John Black Joy Rich Skinny Distressed Jeans in a size 29, and I sold those for $20. Um, next was this Free People True Affection Oversized Collared Top, and that was in a size large, and I sold that for $24. Next was this Anthropology Saturday Sunday Green Open Cardigan Sweater in a size medium, and I sold that for $25. Um, next, this was from a viewer or possibly just an Instagram follower. Um, I can't remember her name. I'd have to look it up. So I'll try to insert it here if I can find it. Um, but it was this new with tags, fig and flower gray floral embroidered tunic top. I just picked this up recently at a Marshall's or a Ross sale. I can't remember which one. I think Ross, um, in a size one X and I sold that for $36 with discounted shipping. Next was this Peter Millar white striped short sleeve polo in a size small and I sold that for $30. Uh, next were these Athleta Black Wander Skinny Stash, they were called, which is weird. Hiking pants, they were black, size medium, I already said they were black. Uh, just forgive me, I'm tired. I just woke up after a long night of coaching. I sold those for $17. Next were these Patagonia shorts, I just picked these up at recently at Salvation Army. The yellow floral baggies and also the um, pink island hemp. They were both drawstring shorts, very like just casual, comfortable. And I sold those for $30 each. Next was this Athleta Karma Cozy Wrap Cardigan. It was in black, size extra small. For some reason, I've had this forever. I thought it would be a good style, just being oversized and just this open cardigan style. Um, for some reason, it just sat for a long time. So I just let that go for $15. Another one I sold very cheap. So I like to put these in here because I don't, I mean, it's good for people just to show their top sales, but I think it's also good to show your smaller sales or maybe your mistakes because that's kind of how people learn. So this was a halogen, 100% cashmere, um, gray striped sweater. I got this a long time ago thinking cashmere, this is great. You know, anything cashmere is great. Um, but it sat for so long and it was in a size extra small. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I only sold that for $9. So that makes my earnings $6.05. I still made like a buck or two I guess but not great so anyway there's that um, next were these aloe yoga uh, color block leggings so these did have quite a bit of pilling um, I did try to get it off but it wasn't very successful um, I did still sell these for $22 next were these American Eagle high-rise jeggings in a size 24 long I picked these up recently also at a uh, Ross I think or maybe a Marshall's and I sold those for $24 um, next was this Madewell sweater. I did feature this on my Instagram. It had lots of interest from uh, some, of, some of my followers and also on all of the sites I put it on. It was in this great fall color block color. That sounded stupid. It sold very quickly for $30. So next were these Everlane white high waist straight denim jeans in a size 28 and those sold for $35. Um, next were these Lane Bryant black quilted pointed toe flats in a size 10 wide and I sold those for $20. Next was this J. Crew navy white striped rugby top in a size small, and I sold this for $15. Next was this Velvet Graham and Spencer gray striped thermal, and this was in a size large. I sold that for $20. Next was this Torrid black jersey knit short sleeve maxi dress. This sold very quickly, I think within an hour, and I sold that for $20. Lots of $20 sales. So I don't mind making sales like that. I mean, that all adds up. You get five of those a day, that's $100 in sales. So, you know, that's great. Um, Kohan brown leather penny loafers. Those, again, sold for $20. Here we go. Here's finally a sale that's over that. So these were these Sorel After Hours um, Chelsea Wedge Boots. I've had these for quite a while, but I think I got them in the spring, so not quite the season for them. Um, they did just sell for $60 uh, off of an offer that someone sent me. So that was a good sale. Um, next was the Soft Surroundings Black Wrap Surplice Top, and it was in a size 1X, and that sold for $20. Next were these Lululemon Gray Jogger High Rise Sweatpants in a size 2. I never could find the style name for these, so um, typically I will try to do a quick search. If it doesn't have the little numbers around the size dot, um, I'll try to do a quick search myself off of um, just like the details of it and the description of it. And if I can't find it, I'll post it maybe to a Facebook page or Instagram to see if anyone has help. But listen, I'm not spending hours 
on Lulu Fanatics trying to find this thing because that's not worth my time. That's a waste of time. <laughs> I really hate it when I will post something in the Poshmark groups and someone will comment, did you try Lulu Fanatics? I'm like, guess what? And that's why I'm posting it here because I don't want to look on there for hours. Like, ugh. Anyway, never did find the style. They still sold for $50. So it's not always necessary. Just, let, just so you know. Um, next was this new with tagged Lulu's off the shoulder coral dress. Um, this sold for $20. So that brand has been doing not as good as it used to for me. I still will pick it up sometimes if it's cheap and if it's in a good style. This was new, so I thought I would try it. Uh, next was this vintage Carol Reed 90s floral silk dress. It was um, very bright, just a really cute style. I don't pick up vintage too much, but I just thought I would try this um, since it was inexpensive for the purchase and I did sell that for $20. Okay, next was this Free People Ombre Chevron sweater dress in a size small. This person messaged me and said they had got one in a size medium recently. It was too big. So they came back on Poshmark to look for a size small. Um, she offered me $25 and I accepted. Next was this, I don't know how to say it, M-U-U-B-A-A, -A, Muba. It was an olive green goat leather moto jacket. So I have never heard of this brand. Um, I looked it up, it felt like good quality. It was pretty expensive retail. So I thought I would try it and um, it did well. I sold it for $50. Next, I think this is a boutique type of brand, Rachel, Rachel. It's R-A-C-H-E-A-L. Um, it was a white rainbow striped sweater, but it was new with tag, so I thought I would pick it up, and it sold for uh, $20. Next, another kind of smaller sale. It was this J. Jill white hooded long sleeve tunic top. Um, it was in a size medium. It was pretty cute. Nothing um, crazy about it, but it did sell for $13. Um, this Prana Vignette Vignette. How you say that? <laughs> Tan asymmetrical fall v-neck sweater. Sold that for $15. Um, next were these New Balance purple rose gold Zante sneakers. These ended up having some wear and some kind of dirty kind of things that I couldn't get off. So those only sold for $15. A couple more here. These were Athleta black Trekkie outdoor jogger pants. I just got these. I just sold them within a day. Sold those for $22. Then I sold this Vera Bradley red and pink floral small backpack. Sold that for $20. And then the last thing were these figs, gray cargo elastic ankle scrub pants. They were in a size large and those sold for $38. So that was my sales on my three platforms. Again, not tracking um, the real, real tradesy thread up, anything like that. So I don't make super consistent sales. Actually, especially on tradesy, I've only made one. I don't it takes me a super short time because I just copy and paste my descriptions when I cross list. So um, I just try to put my more expensive things over there just to kind of see how they would do. Um, I've only sold a St. John top over there, but I figured if it only takes me an extra minute, uh, why not? So I will cross post stuff there sometimes. Let's see if I can get Ellie down here. Come on, Ellie. Oh, good girl. You wanna... Oh, you're stretching. Oh, you want to come say hi? Say hi. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Look, Ellie. Look. Oh, hi. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.